Now let's look at some of the sustainability features going out in 8.10. Please note that these features are only available in the cloud update as of now. They are not available in the 8.10 on-prem update, but will be available in the next on-prem release. To begin with, we have introduced a brand new homepage for sustainability that shows you how green or efficient your data center is by showing a green score. The score helps you measure where your organization is in its decarbonization journey and track progress over time. You can also see power consumption and carbon footprint. Additionally, you will also see actionable insights and recommendations on how you can optimize your green score further. Now let's zoom into the green score itself. The green score is calculated based on three dimensions, clean demand, lean operations, and green supply which further include five components based on the degrees of impact. And those are workload efficiency, resource utilization, virtualization, power source, and hardware efficiency. The percentage shown indicates the weightage each component carries in the green score. Clean demand refers to workload efficiency, showing you powered off idle and oversized VMs, as well as snapshots and often disks that can be deleted in order to reduce wastage in the environment. Lean operations shows you if you're utilizing your infrastructure to its fullest potential and how much of it is actually virtualized. Green supply breaks down where your power is coming from and how efficient your hardware is. All of these new computed metrics, of which there are 15 in all, are stored under a new object we have introduced called the organization object. The product documentation includes a detailed description for each metric and the formula used to calculate it. Now let's switch over to the demo. You can find a direct link to the sustainability page from the WearOps homepage here. Once you click on that, if you're using green score features for the first time, there are some initial configuration steps to be followed to trigger the green score calculation. First of all, you need to enter your organization name. This is necessary as today the green score is calculated at the overall organization level. In future releases, you will be able to view the score at the individual physical data center, cluster, VM, and application levels as well. You will also need to specify to what extent your environment is virtualized in terms of virtualization ratios for compute, network, storage, and desktop. These fields are pre-populated with default values, but you can always change them. You also need to specify the type of power source. If you have more than one type, you can add them all here and specify the corresponding percentage of each. Lastly, you need to specify the age of your servers, storage, network, and desktop hardware in order for us to calculate the hardware efficiency levels in your environment. Once this is done, you can save it. Now you will be able to see the green score for your organization on the home page here. The score is calculated every five minutes in line with other metrics. We also show the day, weekly, monthly, and uh, yearly trends so you can get a better understanding of how you're doing over time. If you're curious to know more about the green score, you can expand the description here and read through it. Similarly, you can see your power consumption and carbon footprint and the weekly, monthly, and yearly trends for each. The environment impact detail here says that the current carbon footprint is equivalent to carbon emissions from 559 smartphones charged as per calculations based on the greenhouse gas equivalencies calculator. The last section of the page shows you how to optimize your green score. For each of the five components, you will see a subscore and also view if there is scope for optimization. Starting with workload efficiency, you can see in this environment here that there are 114 idle powered off VMs, 22 idle VMs, and uh, so on, which indicates wastage in your environment. So you can go to the reclamation and right sizing dashboards from here. Uh, we are leveraging the existing dashboards for all our recommended actions. Uh, you can access them and uh, clean them up to increase the score from the current 64%. Coming to lean operations, under resource utilization, you can see that the server utilization is just 21% while your storage utilization is 41. And so there's ample scope to drive up the utilization further. 
You can go to these uh, dashboards to view your oversized clusters and uh, your underused storage hardware and take further action to drive up your resource utilization. Coming to the virtualization section, it shows to what extent you're virtualized. And this is based on the inputs provided during the initial configuration. As you know, increasing the virtualization levels in the environment helps reduce your hardware footprint, which in turn reduces your carbon footprint as well. Coming to green supply, the power source section here is showing the type of power sources used in the environment. Again, this is based on the inputs provided during configuration. The overall score of 34% is a weighted average of the individual scores for each power source and is computed based on the carbon intensity of each power source type using the greenhouse gas equivalencies calculator again. Here you can see that there is an opportunity to improve the overall score by switching to renewable sources of energy. Coming to hardware efficiency, the overall hardware efficiency score is 69% and the breakup shows exactly where you can improve. More often than not, newer hardware is more energy efficient than older hardware. So by replacing the less efficient hardware with newer, more efficient ones, the score can be improved. Here again, you can uh, access the relevant dashboards here. You can view a list of all the aging hardware and replace them with newer ones. And you can view the list of small clusters, which can be consolidated further. So you can analyze and take necessary action to drive up the overall hardware efficiency score. Now this was all about the green score. With this score at your fingertips, we believe you have everything you need to achieve your organization's green goals. Please try it out. And don't forget to share your feedback. Thank you.